Hello. The weather in the Med has uh, settled down considerably in recent days, although it is still quite stormy to the east with the tail end of this frontal system pushing its way uh, out of Greece into Turkey and that will be targeting Cyprus too in the next 24 hours. Further west, frontal systems trying to come in from the Atlantic bring rain to the northwest of the UK, but more in particular for Finland where the totals are really mounting up now. It's also been very windy here and there'll be snow for the mountains. Squally downpours through the eastern end of the Med on Thursday. Much quieter story across the Balkans and Italy. A little bit of cloud bubbling up there for Sardinia and Corsica. We are anticipating uh, an area of low pressure across the western side of the Med at the end of the week though, meaning strong winds here once again. Generally quite cloudy to the far west of Europe, that cloud coming in from the Atlantic. Still a lot of sunshine for Scandinavia and temperatures still above average. For Friday, lots of sunshine to the east. It's finally looking clearer for Turkey. In the west, this frontal system starts to push its way across the low countries into the north of France, Germany as well. We still manage to stay though on the mild side across Scandinavia in the coming days. A little bit of a dip in the temperatures, but nothing too significant. A lot of fair weather on the cards as we look at the forecast for Paris, Madrid in the next couple of days. More showers though returning to Athens. Hello. As we say goodbye to one winter storm pulling away from North America into the Atlantic, we still have some wintry weather to come for the Canadian Maritimes, some lake effect snow possible across upstate New York on Wednesday. But further west is where the wintry weather will then really start to take hold. Fronts pushing in from the Pacific snow, extending further south into the Rockies, heavy snow for British Columbia and some heavy rain for Western Canada, coastal parts of Washington and Oregon. And then we need to switch our focus further south as we go further into the week. This heavy rain across Mexico has Texas and Georgia, along with other parts of the deep south, in its sights for Thursday. Here's Wednesday along the west coast, however, plenty of snow piling in to British Columbia. We could see up to two metres of snow in some spots here before we are done. Still sunshine for the south across California and no anticipated break in that for the likes of Los Angeles or Las Vegas in the coming days. Further east, as promised, we're going to see some brighter conditions arriving behind our area of a low pressure, but quite a cutting uh, northwesterly wind feeding into Montreal and New York on Wednesday. Sunshine takes us into the southeast and the deep south, but the picture here will change dramatically by uh, Tuesday. By Thursday, I should say, we're going to see some heavy rainfall, particularly targeting the southern Mississippi Valley. Hello. Looking at our latest South American satellite picture, you can see a couple of weather fronts to the south of the continent, one trying to push its way into southern Chile, another front with its tail end across the southeast of Brazil, and then the seasonal rains peppered across the Amazon region. Here, probably the most intense, heaviest of our downpours, uh, the rain getting into southern Chile, becoming increasingly sporadic as that front tries to push across into Patagonia. Sunshine for the north, I think largely dry for Venezuela, not too bad as we drift a little bit further east across Guiana, French Guiana, Suriname, but into heavier showers across eastern Brazil, showers for Rio and Florianopolis. Some sunny spells for Buenos Aires and the sunshine across central Argentina actually bringing us above average temperatures, I think, for the next few days. Buenos Aires will peak at around 27 degrees through the weekend. Rio, though, stuck with those showers even on into the beginning of the new week. Further north, some heavy rain set to push its way across Mexico on Wednesday, courtesy of a weather system that will then take the wettest of the weather, I think, into southeastern states of the US. So still looking at a lot of fine weather across much of Central America and the Caribbean. Plenty of sunny spells to be found here. Just a slim chance of one or two showers showing up in Cuba. You can see the odd one flagging there for Havana on Saturday. Hello. Our latest satellite image from Africa and the Middle East shows a lot of cloud at the moment across northern Madagascar, surging across the Mozambique Channel towards northern Mozambique. Some of our heaviest rain to come here in the next 24 hours. Also cloud at the eastern end of the Med, low pressure pushing across Turkey. That's going to kick the winds up further south across northern Egypt for a time. To the northwest, high pressure extends its influence from Europe, pulling cooler air into Tunisia, Algeria and Morocco. So the temperatures here are a few degrees below average 
in the course of the next few days. Perhaps some blowing dust and sand as well across uh, the middle part of the Sahara. As we look further south, further heavy showers to come for Johannesburg. For Cape Town, a little bit of increasing cloud, but I think no rainfall in the forecast in the coming days. Let's take a closer look at the eastern end of the Med now. There's some quite plentiful showers spilling down into the Caucasus and across the Levant. We'll see some showers, I think, for northernmost Egypt. Across uh, Saudi Arabia, for Oman and Yemen, though, barely a cloud in the sky. Perhaps a, a little bit of early morning mist and fog for some of the coastal regions. However, we are still very much dominated, as you can see, by dry and sunny weather in our outlook. But some showers getting into Tehran by the beginning of the weekend. Hello. We have some heavy rainfall on the way for central and then increasingly northeastern India and Bangladesh in the next 48 hours or so. Showers are gathering currently in the Bay of Bengal and we anticipate an area of low pressure spinning up here, pushing its way inland through the course of Thursday and taking the showers maybe even as far north as Delhi. What we will see is a change uh, in the air though across the north of the country, largely obliterating cold spell that we've had of late returning temperatures to average. Some of these showers though are likely to cause flash flooding. They will be heavy with hail and thunder. Heading further north, a wintry feel across Kazakhstan, although temperatures still actually above average here for the time of year. Some snow working its way into Afghanistan. Islamabad still up at 16 degrees. We've got 19 forecasts for Delhi on Thursday. That's a whole 10 degrees higher than the temperature we saw to start the week. Largely fine for the Maldives. Still some showers threatening Sri Lanka, but the heaviest of the rain, particularly Chatskara, I think, uh, getting some intense downpours as we look at the next 48 hours or so. More sunshine to come for Mumbai. It looks like the cloud will start to gather and things become increasingly murky for Islamabad as we switch into a, a more northerly airflow in the coming days. Temperatures set to come down for Tashkent with the arrival of some rain or snow too. Hello. The seasonal rains are now in full swing across Indonesia, so we can anticipate more widespread intense downpours here in the coming days. Some heavier showers also, though, working their way north towards Singapore in the next 48 hours or so. Further north, High pressure keeps things very settled for China, the Korean Peninsula and southern Japan on Thursday. To the north, though, just about uh, enough of a weakness in the pressure to allow some showers to glide across Hokkaido. And some of those will be wintry again for the mountains. Up to 13 degrees in Shanghai on Thursday, anticipating those temperatures climbing much higher, though, by the start of the weekend, perhaps into the low 20s. There are the showers as we make our way into Indonesia. Further downpours to come for Jakarta in the next few days. Manila, though, should be largely spared along with Taipei. We are keeping a close eye, though, on the showers to the northwest of Australia for the risk of a cyclone spinning up in the next few days. Just a few isolated showers for New South Wales and Queensland on Thursday. The biggest issue for Australia in the coming days potentially is a pulse of heat eastwards for the start of the weekend. New Zealand widely seeing temperatures in the low 20s on Thursday with a lot of fine weather and sunny spells. In Australia though we could even see record-breaking heat for the likes of Canberra with temperatures topping the 42 degree mark on Saturday. 